Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn a new chapter which is carboxylic acid. So in 17.1, we're going to learn the introduction where we're going to write down the general formula of your carboxylic acid. So the general formula adalah CN, H2N plus 1, COOH. So if you see the COOH ataupun dalam structure, if you draw it, dia ada C double bond OOH, maka it is your carboxylic acid. So that is actually the name of the the name ataupun the class of the compound the functional group dia adalah carboxyl so that's for 17.1 next untuk 17.2 is the nomenclature ataupun naming ok so we're going to draw the structure and name carboxylic compound uh, and then we're going to give the common names with parent chain less than 5 so how about the name of your carboxylic acid we're going to pick the longest and continuous chain containing the COOH as the parent and we're going to replace suffix E of your alkene with oic acid. Okay, so what does it mean here? So, kita tengok dekat sini lah. For carbon less than 5 ni. Sekali tu, we have to learn about the common name. Okay. First one, we have C double bond O, OH and attached to it another hydrogen. So, when we count our carbon here, actually we only have one carbon. So, kalau one dia jadi methane, kalau alkene, kalau carboxylic acid dia akan jadi methanoic acid. Okay, remember we have to count eh, the C double bond OOH2 pun kena count so we only have one carbon and the common name is formic acid. Okay, second one C double bond O eh, C double bond OOH and bonded to it at the CH3. We have two carbon counting carbon yang ada double bond OOH it is ethanoic acid and the common name adalah acetic acid. Okay, so remember if anything, we have to count the C double bond OOH2 juga. So, the third one ni, we have three carbon, propanoic acid. Common name dia adalah propionic acid. Okay, the fourth one, we have four carbon. Okay, and then nama dia akan jadi butanoic acid. Tapi common name adalah butyric, uh, T-Y-R-I-C, acid. Okay, the first one, we have 5 carbon, pentanoic acid and the common name is valeric acid. So, this is actually all the strict chain compound for carboxylic acid. So, now let's look macam mana pula if we have substituent. Okay, if we have our substituent, remember we're going to number it. So, macam mana kita akan numberkan that COOH2 kita akan countkan as actually carbon number 1. So, this is a skeletal structure. Again, in a skeletal, carbon dengan hydrogen is not shown kan. Sebenarnya kat tengah-tengah ni ada satu carbon. Ha, so, maknanya dekat sini I have one carbon here. Sini pun mesti ada satu carbon dekat sini. Kat mana kamu nampak if it's skeletal double bond OOH ni, it must be carbon lah dekat sini. Sebab tu dah ada carboxylic acid must be COOH. And then, um, which way we're going to come? Memang number 1 is actually our carboxylic acid since it is it is the highest priority. So, dia jadi 1, 2, 3, 4. Kalau dekat sini, carbon ni pun 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, let's look here. Question A. So, question A ni, we have 4 carbon. So, the name will be butanoic acid. But then, pada carbon number 3, we have our substituent. So, substituent ni is actually our metal because only one carbon here kan. So, dia adalah 3 metal butanoic acid. Okay, now let's look for question B. B ada 5 carbon, hence pentanoic acid. Okay, now let's look for the case of the substituent. Substituent dia pada carbon number 2 and 4. Okay, so 2 dengan 4 ni ada metal but then we have 2 of our metal. So, dia akan jadi dimetal. 2 for dimethyl pentanoic acid. Example C and D, you should try it yourself. Okay, so, question E. Okay, so kita tengok our COOH here kan. So, kalau mis number kan dia, dia jadi carbon number 1. Okay, so pada carbon, we only have one carbon here. And the COOH is directly bonded to our cyclic structure. So, it is actually a cyclic carboxylic acid. And how to name it? Okay, so selalunya kalau kita jadi, kita akan simplifykan dia kan. So, kalau if your first instinct adalah nama dia adalah jadi cyclohexanoic acid. So, it is incorrect. Sebab if a cyclic carboxylic acid, we're going to name it as cycloalkane carboxylic acid. Ha, it's a bit of mouthful, panjang sikit nak tulis. 
Tapi kita tengok We have berapa carbon We have 6 So it, the name would be Cyclohexane But then um, Attached to it is We have our COH kan So dah akan jadi Cyclohexane Carbosilic Acid So that's it for question E So dia bukan Cyclohexane Acid Dia panjang sikit Cycloalkane So maknanya dalam case ni Cyclohexane Carbosilic Acid So, uh, make sure the COOH is directly bonded to your cyclic structure. So, it, that will be the parent name. Question F, kita tengok C, double bond OOH T. Uh, memang carbon dia directly bonded to our cyclopentane. So, the parent name would be cyclopentane carboxylic acid. So, that's the parent name. Tapi, dalam case ni, we have our substituent kan. So, that is not the, the full name lagi. Okay, so yang ini bila um, when we include the substituent itself, so maknanya yang ada COH tu akan we're going to label it as carbon number 1. Okay, so yang ni mesti padamkan. So here is your mind number 1. So yang ni you should try yourself numbering the substituent for question F. Now let's look for question G. So question G kita tengok our COOH ni is here. So here will be number 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, apa yang beza dia dengan contohnya yang the first one tadi? Okay. Here, pada number one, uh, our COOH ni dah like literal bonded to our cyclic structure. The same goes here for cyclopentane carboxylic acid ni. But then, here, our COOH is not directly bonded to our cyclohexane. Tapi, dia ada 1, 2, 3 carbon here. So, kalau macam ni, the parent ni would be 3. So, dia akan jadi propanoic acid. Kalau propanoic acid sahaja, dia sama sahaja macam yang ni lah. CH3, CH2, COOH. But then, pada carbon number 3 ni, we have our substituent. So, kalau nama dia ni, alkin adalah cyclohexane. So, bila dia jadi substituent, nama dia akan jadi 3 cyclohexapropanoic acid. Make sure include the number 3. Question H, try it yourself. Check whether your COOH ni directly bonded pada cyclic structure ataupun pada street chain ni. Let's look at the examples on page 2. So, example are here. So, in this case, we have two of our carboxylic acid. Where previously, we have looked at, it's actually only one, kan? So, this one, we have two of it. So, how we're going to name it? So, let's look here. It mentioned, if when two COOH group are present, the compound will be named as alkane dioic acid. So, alkane to make sure lah. Methane ke, ethane ke, pentane ke. So, here let's count. Again, remember when we counting the carbon, here is actually we have our carbon gun. So, we have to start count from here. So, when counting, we are going to count the carbon. Okay, so that we have seven carbon here. So, build the seven carbon. So, nama dia akan jadi heptane dicarboxylic acid. But then why we didn't mention about number 1 dengan 7 kat sini Because for the carboxylic acid it must be at the end here So we uh, from the name itself we understood Maknanya kalau heptane maknanya pada number 1 dengan 7 At the end of the carbon tu we have our COOH Okay question J I believe you could do it yourself But then remember kalau substituent what we want It must be a small number so, question K ni, we have two of our carboxylic acid. But that is directly bonded to our cyclic structure. So, nama dia akan jadi um, cycloalkane carboxylic acid. Itu kalau satu. How about we have two pula? So, if we if we have two, our parents dia akan jadi... Okay, we have six carbon. So, dia akan jadi cyclohexane. But then, when we check our carboxylic acid, we have two. So, dia akan jadi cyclohexane dicarboxylic acid. Okay, again, beza dia. Okay, kalau we have only one, the cyclohexane carboxylic acid. If we have two, cyclohexane dicarboxylic acid. And then, how to uh, make the number of it? Okay, kalau untuk cyclic structure, barulah kita kena buat numbering dia. Okay, so we have six kan. Ha? So, ikutlah kat mana-mana yang kamu nak buat. But then, what we want is actually, so first one, I'm going to use the purple one. Okay, the second one, I'm going to use the pink one. So, tak kisahlah macam mana pun. Tapi, for the parent name, we want it to be the smallest number possible. So, I'm going to take the purple one. So, dia akan jadi 1,3-cyclohexane dicarboxylic acid. 
Okay, but then that's not it. We also have another substituent which is chlorine. So we're going to take jadi 4 chloro 1 3 cyclohexane dicarboxylic acid. Okay, now let's look for question L until Q ni adalah benzene. Okay, kita tengok si double bond OOH ni is directly bonded to our benzene ring. So, kalau nama sebenarnya adalah benzene carboxylic acid but usually nama famous dia that we're going to use adalah benzoic acid. So, tengoklah your double, on, double bond OOH tu kat situ akan jadi my carbon number 1. So, kalau question M ni, ha, yang si double bond OOH tu that will be your number 1. Ha, yang N pun sama. M dengan N, try it yourself. Okay, question O. So, question O ni macam mana? Kita tengok we have two of our carboxylic acid. So, how do we um give the name? So, again, sebenarnya benzoic acid is actually from benzene carboxylic acid. Okay, so originally nama benzoic acid is this one kan? So, for the name, kalau ada dua carboxylic acid, we're going to take from this uh, same name. Tapi dalam case ni, we have two. So, dia akan jadi benzene dicarboxylic acid. In this case, we have to write down what is the numbering. Numbering di mana actually? So, uh, tak kisah mana pun, you will get 1, 2, 3, 4. So, mana akan dapat 1, 4. So, dia akan jadi 1, 4 benzene dicarboxylic acid. Question P and Q, I believe you could do it yourself.